Now, the fourth and most obvious sign, if you are having this fourth occurrence, then I pretty much guarantee you're a healer. And the fourth sign is, if you are here, curious. If you are here, asking. If you are wondering. If you are a healer, you are. If you weren't wondering, questioning, asking, and curious about it, you're probably not a healer. You may be here listening to this message, kind of curious because you like to listen to my voice because it's vibrationally attuned and it's providing healing for you. Then that's beautiful. Welcome here. And if you're here because you have a question, I don't know, maybe I am, or I think I am, or I wonder if I am, I'm curious if I am a healer, then the answer is yes. You are. You are a healer. Now, how that shows up and how that healing is then extended in the world is, is up to your heart. It's up to your soul and your spirit to reveal that to you in your humanness so that you can play the role you're meant to play. And like I said earlier, healers can show up in many different ways. Healers can be doctors and physiotherapists and different practitioners. I have a friend who's a healer who does traditional Chinese medicine and he does some different energy work as well, but he's starting to wake up more the healer side and blending that with the practitioner side. So I'm kind of supporting him in doing that a little bit as well as he kind of finds his way. Anytime he feels like he needs some support, he comes to me and, and I kind of help him understand that blend. And it's really about saying yes to allow your healing gift to express itself in whatever way. So remembering that for me in the beginning, this has been like a 25 year journey of waking up and I kind of feel like I, I've, I've created a lot of bridges for a lot of people and I've done a lot of healing work to, to be able to then reach my hand back and say, okay, okay, come this way. I've, I found a way to do that. I can support you in doing that. I can walk beside you. So it doesn't have to be an isolating journey. And in fact, we're not really meant to do this work and, and be the lone light workers in the world or be the lone healers anymore. Healing in community and joining in community and, and having those mentors or those mighty companions that can walk beside us and support us is essential. I have those people in my life and I, I couldn't be where I am today without those people in my life. So even healers need healers, even coaches need coaches, even mentors need mentors because we can't see our own blind spots. We can't always see those areas where, where we need to shift and change. We sometimes need someone to look from the outside because we're so close to it. We need someone to look from the outside and, and to point it out to us and to gently and compassionately and kindly guide us on our journey. And sometimes it needs to be a little bit of calling, calling you on your staff and, and giving you a little push or kind of encouraging you to, to take the leap and grow your wings. And other times it's, you know, nurturing you and holding you and encouraging you to, to step into what you're meant to be doing in this world. So there's people in the world that are going to be able to support you. And the beautiful thing is you will be guided around that. If you follow your heart, if you get out of your head and into your heart and you let your heart lead you, your heart will lead you to everyone and everything you will ever need to wake up your gift. 